today's video is sponsored by Reolink. Reolink are an industry leading security camera company that provides eco-friendly monitoring solutions for all of your security needs. Whether you want to have security both indoors or outdoors, they have one of the widest and highest rated product ranges of all different types of security cameras and even security doorbells as well that you can get from their website. Make sure to check out the link in the description down below to find out the entire range and what they offer. Today I'm going to be showcasing the Argus PT Ultra from the Argus series. This one comes in at £199 retail price, but they do have discounts and offers running from time to time. So make sure to hit that link in the description to get all of the latest pricing information. Now, although they did send me this product, everything that I'm going to review is going to be my own honest opinion. I'm going to showcase all of the features and capabilities and some sample footage shot on the 4K 8 megapixel camera here. And I'm really excited to try this out because I have a lot of security cameras that I've reviewed in the past. I have also used Reolink products myself that I've purchased and their products have just been the easiest to get up and running. Not only that, this is also complemented with the solar panel too, that I'm going to draw power directly into the camera itself without having the need to charge it manually myself. If you don't get the solar panel and you don't have to, this is optional, then you can just get the security camera on itself. But this does have a rechargeable battery on it, so you can remove it and just charge it independently, have it run off battery for as long as it will last and it will go many, many days on a full charge and then just use that rather than a solar panel. But I've decided to go for the solar panel option because I just like having consistent power and access to my security feeds 24 seven. So let's go ahead and start off with the unboxing to see what comes inside both of these packages. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the key features and capabilities of this. And then I'm going to showcase how it works with the Reolink app and how you can control it wirelessly and monitor from any location, not necessarily near to the camera. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so in the box for the Argus PT Ultra, you have yourself the camera itself. This will rotate 355 degrees on the horizontal axis, and this will tilt 140 degrees vertically as well. So you can be sure that you're going to capture any shot from any direction that you need to. This does have a quarter inch thread there at the bottom to mount it in one of the brackets that do come with it. So just on the back at the top, you have yourself the power switch. So you can see currently it's off. I'll need to toggle that to on when it is ready to turn on. Then you also have the USB-C charging port just there. And this is where you will connect the antenna. If you lift the head of the camera, you can see there is another slot here. This is a micro SD slot. So if you wanted to record locally and store all your video feed footage directly onto an SD card, you can put your micro SD right in there and this supports up to 128 gigabytes. So that is a very good backup option just in case you think you may lose any internet connection when you are storing this either via the cloud storage or directly onto the internal storage. You then have yourself the antenna, like I mentioned, it will connect directly to the camera. You have yourself a user guide, a strap, USB-C charging cable, the screws and wall plugs. Then you have two options to mount this. If you have a vertical wall that you want to connect this camera to because it will be facing upside down for the 360 degree pan, then you can use this L-shaped bracket here and then you'll have to screw it onto here. But then at the top, you will need to use the Allen key that comes in the packet to just tighten the screw from that side. If you want to directly install this onto a horizontal ceiling, then you can just use this to make it a little bit easier. This is a fixed screw, so I don't need to manually tighten it in any way. This will just directly go on top of here and then I can just unscrew it and put it on like this. So very quick and easy way to set this up. Let's just take a quick look at the solar panel. So we have the large solar panel here. We have yourself the weatherproof USB-C connector that will be required to plug one end into here and the other end into the camera. The bracket, the screws and plugs, and a user manual. So very straightforward, very easy to set up. So before I do go ahead and set all of this up, let's just take a look at some of the key features and specifications of the Argus PT Ultra. Okay, so I did mention that the camera is 4K 8 megapixels, but not just it being 4K resolution, this does have UHD vision. So if you are going to be capturing footage in low lighting conditions, maybe at nighttime, 4K is also going to be very important, but ultra high definition vision is also going to be even more important than that. 
This also has color night vision and also black and white night vision as well. So I'm gonna be showcasing both sample clips from the app that I've downloaded for Rio Link and showcase how both of them really look with this high quality camera sensor inbuilt into this. Now in terms of the Wi-Fi connection, not only is it 2.4 gigahertz compatible, but it's also five gigahertz compatible as well. So if you want faster access to your feeds and lag free footage for any security needs, then this is the one to get. And that's going to be very important, especially when it comes onto the topic of security. But you'll also be able to access all your footage wirelessly. You don't necessarily need to be on the same Wi-Fi network when you're using the app. You can be traveling, you can be abroad, you can be totally off the grid. With the 4G network, you can also just access the feeds and play back all of your footage. If you go ahead and get the Rio Link cloud subscription, you can very easily play back pre-recorded footage that this is captured. Now, when it does capture some footage as well, this has really good smart detection in there because the last thing you want is to send you notifications and alerts for movement of anything that's happening. And I've experienced that in the past with more cheaper quality security cameras, where even in the slightest bit of wind, if something's moving around, it will just detect that as movement and the light will come on. This one, it can differentiate between people, animals and cars. And you can set what type of motion detection you want to be alerted for on the app as well. If you want it only for people, then this will recognize when a person is walking in front of the camera and that will be alerted to your app. So that distinguishing factor is really important when it does come to security cameras, especially if you are going to be setting this up in high traffic, high busy areas. So just keep that in mind. And I will be testing that out myself by just me walking in front of it and alerting a motion detection on the app for me. And if for example, you do set this up either at the front or the back of your house and you notice someone there, maybe there's a delivery driver dropping a package off and you're not home at the time, then this has two way audio. So you can speak into the app and just communicate to the person directly from the speakers and microphone phone inbuilt into this camera and then just have the conversation and it should be fairly clear and hopefully I can try to capture how some of the audio sounds as well in some of the sample clips later on. And finally you know the key design of this like I mentioned is the fact that this has this almost 360 degree rotational view of whatever you want to have in your vision for your security purposes. 355 degree horizontally, 140 degree vertically. I don't think there's going to be any situation where anything will be in a blind spot. And that is very important when you want to get the maximum security for wherever you place this, either indoors or outdoors, for any of your needs. So that's all of the key specifications. And now I'm gonna be going ahead and setting this up in my garden. So I'll go ahead, get my tools out and set it up with one of the brackets, set up the solar panel with this and start showcasing how the app works and some sample footage in various different lighting conditions, testing out the audio, testing out the video clarity in both color night vision and black and white vision as well, and just showcasing all around how great of a security camera this will be if you do decide to go and purchase this. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've set it up on my garage outdoors in my back garden. So let's go take a look a little bit closer. I've got the Argus PT Ultra just there on the left hand side of the garage. I installed the screws, it was very quick and easy. Just needed to drill a couple of holes, put the plugs in and I've got a nice tight fit. I made sure to put the antenna and the USB-C cable on the actual camera itself before I put the camera onto the bracket. You do have to use the Allen key to make sure from the top side of this that it is securely in place and then on the right hand side I've got the solar panel just there. So altogether, it actually took about 10-15 minutes, not too bad. And this will now give me a good view of my entire garden from this side. And using the PTZ mode, I can then pan left and see along the side of my house as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the app and how that works and how it's connected before we look at some sample footage coming directly from the camera. Right, so let's go ahead and open up the Rio Link app. Now you can see there front and center while it's connecting, it's loading up the live stream. You need to make sure you do have a very good Wi-Fi connection. So if you do set this up outdoors, make sure it's not too far away from your wireless router. Otherwise it may struggle to pick up the connection and give you a very smooth live stream. But nonetheless, you can see there's the shot on the app of my back garden. You've got all of the main buttons just underneath the video there. You can play and pause from the first button you can mute the audio coming directly from the camera from the second button you can also take a picture for the third one record a video with the fourth one 
This fifth one here, it's set to clear, which is the highest resolution that you're going to get, i.e. set from 4K, but you can change it to balanced and fluent, and I'll show you in the settings what the resolutions are for these options here, and then you can go full screen with that last button there. Along the bottom, you have four different options. So talk, obviously, it's got two-way audio, so you can speak to anyone via the actual camera itself by just pressing down the talk button. You've got the little clip button there, which is actually zooming in. If I just press that now, you can see it can select any part of your footage and zoom in quite a lot, actually, just to see if you wanted to get a clearer shot of something that's maybe at a further distance. Then you have PTZ, pan, tilt and zoom. So if I go ahead and move the joystick to the right, you can see this is where it will start to utilize the 355 degree rotation to make sure you capture any angle of your view frame from the camera itself. So I can go back on the horizontal axis. And then of course, you also have the option for the 140 degree tilt up and down. So if I go up, for example, and you can hold it down and it will slowly move to the position wherever you like it to. So I want a little bit of a wider view of my back garden rather than of the cloud. So I'll pan back down a little bit. It's about one to two seconds response time between the PTZ and how you control it on the app. And then you also have playback. So when you hit this, it will play back all of the recent recordings that has gone to either two options, the internal SD card storage, or if you want, you can get the Rio Link cloud subscription that you can pay for either monthly or yearly, and it will store all of the footage there. So these are all of the main options that you can see just from the main homepage of the app. On the top right, you have a few options. The first one there is the audio alarm that you can select. The second one is a torch icon that will actually turn the light on and if it's very dark and it's at night time, you can turn the light on if you want to get a clearer video feed of your environment. And then we have the settings button there. So let's go into settings. This is where you can see the current battery percentage. I've got it at 42%. You can see the Wi-Fi that's connected. If you go into display, this is where you can actually adjust all of the video feed options and maybe flip vertical or horizontal depending on the position how you've placed the camera if you go into that stream option this is where you'll see the differences between the resolutions of clear and fluent that you can select from the main page clear obviously i've set that to 4k you can also adjust the frame rate so you can go up to 15 and i will do that and hit save when you go back you have the options to turn off anti-flicker day and night i've left it as auto i think it's more convenient just to leave it as auto but if you do want to have your night video as black and white all the time maybe you find that a little bit clearer then you can also change that from here brightness you can also adjust that if you have the camera positioned in a place where it gets a lot of direct sunlight and it's too bright then you can turn the brightness down a little bit but it's up to you uh, and then you have some other general settings there along the bottom when you go back to the main settings page, you have the option to adjust the audio as well. You can do sound tests. You can also turn off audio recording if you don't want any of that to come through. When you go back, you can go back into the light settings. So the status indicator light, I have it set to on. If you just don't want anyone to see that there's a status indicator light on there all the time, then you can turn that off if you want a little bit more privacy around that. Infrared lights, I've set that to auto as well, but you have the option to turn that off. And then spotlight, when you go into modes, you have night smart mode, which I do like to keep on, or you can always keep the lights off if you just want it to use infrared and you have the actual spotlights turned off itself and you don't want that to interfere with the actual recording. And then you have various other settings for alarm settings and notification settings. Right down at the bottom, time-lapse mode is a very nice mode that you can also set up. And as you saw from the start of this video, I showcased a nice little time lapse. You do need to have a micro SD card in the camera for this to work. It won't work just out of the box on its own. So that's all of the main settings and the feed from the actual app itself. But now let's go ahead and take a look at some sample clips that are recorded using this camera in various different conditions and lighting situations. So this is the audio quality. I'm about two meters away from the Rio Link camera. And it is a very cold day and I'm in the middle of winter 
and I just wanted to show you how clear this still comes out when it is set to the 4k resolution so hopefully you guys can still hear me clearly but I've had a look at some of the playback and the video quality is very clear now I'm going to be showcasing more of the video clips from low lighting conditions later on in the evening and at night time so we'll go ahead and take a look at that now just tilted more to the left and we'll be testing out how the quality looks in more low lighting conditions so we'll come back a little bit later in the evening so now I'm outdoors at night time the spotlight is on but I have the black and white vision set on the camera so you can still see how clear I am even though there is no color in the background or on myself but I want to go ahead and switch over to color vision so you can see how accurate and how bright everything looks with the spotlight on when I do switch to color in nighttime there you go now even though it is quite dark outdoors it might not seem like that in this clip the spotlight is very bright and you can see everything is super clear as if it's just gone past sunset and you can still see every person in the shot very clearly no matter the distance now it is starting to rain a little bit so you can even start seeing that maybe a little bit through the clip as well but the quality on this I can't fault that now one thing I would say is that the audio is a little bit lighter than I would have liked so when I do play it back on the computer I can't really hear much of the audio when I am at a further distance right now I am actually very close to the camera about one meter close to it but anything further than that then I think the audio is just a little bit too light but I think that's the case with a lot of outdoor cameras because you're going to get a lot of ambient noise from the background anyway but nonetheless for security footage this does an excellent job and with color night vision as you can see it is actually very very good now you'll see that when I walk around a little bit more how clear I still maintain overall a very great camera all right guys so that is the rio link argos pt ultra make sure to check out the link in the description for all of the latest specifications the latest pricing information i'm a huge fan of the security cameras and all around all of the general products this has made me more comfortable and confident in getting more security for my back garden as well so make sure to drop any comments if there's anything else you'd like to know about this camera specifically if you did like this video, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you all at the next one. Take care.